Welcome back, guys, to another exciting adventure from the Riotech Corporation. I'm your host, Commander Corley, and today we're looking at a Art of War 3. That's right. It's going to be a battle against the level 10 versus a level 11. That's myself versus SS Army. It's a 12-minute battle. Let's jump right on and see how fun it was. All right, it's going to be a maneuvers type battle on Coral Bay. That's right. Maneuvers on Coral Bay. So as always, we're going to jump right on in with a construction building first. Then we're going to throw up our our power supply. After that, our barracks. Then the supply. Another supply. Gonna get some assaults on their way out. All right, deployment time is over. That's right, we're gonna start battling now. So, there comes an assault factory. Scouting out as much as I can right now. Go ahead and grab that crate. Sending them up and around. That's right, up and around. Going up to level two HQ. Getting that one up and out of the way real quick here. Got one going straight across the top of the map. Looking for containers. Got my other guys going south. Looks like that's the way he's coming from. Got another battle for this flag here, which of course my assault takes his out. Looks like he's got another rifleman coming in. At this point I'm already having to pop in emergency measures because I'm popping out all kinds of stuff right now. In fact, he's trying to scout my base too while I'm scouting his. But his little sniper tower was able to take my one assault out. All right. At this point, I split my guys up going for the other two flags. Got one fortress headed down. Got another container there. Looks like I'm throwing up another power supply here. More containers. Yep. Gotta grab those containers. All right. We all know what's coming. All know what's coming. That's right, the aviation factory. That's two flags. And the third one is almost ours. At this point, send this assault off to do some more scouting. Some more containers. We know what he's got going on over here. Not a whole, whole lot yet. We also know that I've got water all to myself. So I've only got to defend this one point. Going up to level 3 HQ. That's right, level 3 HQ. He's got a rifleman trying to come behind me there, looks like. I think he's trying to scout out. The 
the flags. At this point, I get a cyclone up in the air. Pop another supply. 38 seconds on that HQ. I'm going to send that cyclone down to this flag here because that's where I've been feeling that rifleman was going. And I'm going to send those two assaults north to see if I can get into his base from the south at all. I'm looking at mine here, I don't think I'm going to be able to. But I do see containers on my way up there. No containers in the water. So I have no need in providing any horses in the water. And there is his rifleman. Got a couple of them headed down there. He's also got a couple at my base. Well, at this point, he's scouting out my base. Yes, I know. I don't have any base defenses anyway, so just letting him go. Wasn't really too concerned about it. Enemy coming. Target kill. At this point I had a feeling I had the game in the bag. another construction yard there I'm gonna go ahead and get some assaults over here to patrol we've got three supply I've got my assaults patrolling he's not gonna get in anymore and he's got two sniper towers Still got this one guy down here just taking his time trying to get up north, which is okay. But we got our vertexes coming out now. We all know this guy's going to die if he goes all the way over there. So I'll pop a common production. I'm going to try and pop out them vertexes as fast as I can. At this point, I realized, wait a second, I'm not going to send that assault in there. I'm going to bring him back over here to the other ones. First vertex has landed. Now he knows that I've got an airfield, and he knows what's coming. Two vertexes up. And there goes another two being produced. Now I move my assaults further forward. I've got two fortresses moving in. I'm going to try and knock out Sniper Tower. Or at least get a scout on the base. Send my vertexes in as well to support. And he's got some armadillos and some riflemen there.
All right. One armadillo down. And there goes the other one. Now I'm going to try and knock out this sniper tower, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to. They ran out of fuel, so I'm going to send in my assaults to finish it off. I'm going to pop a common attack and let the assaults have their way with his base. Move them in a little closer. Now I've got all four vertexes up and ready. I've already knocked out one of his barracks. And here comes a vertex strike. Knock out that power. He's got nothing else. Nice. Vertexes are going back to base. Nine assaults. Nine assaults. Take out an entire HQ. I'll move the guys over here a little bit. Then I'm going to move them back in. And we're going to finish him off. Another vertex strike incoming. Of course, they were targeting the factory that was sitting there, so they flew right on by. <laughs> and there they go back. So the nine assaults will finish off his base. And that's the end of him. That's the end of Red. All right, guys, this was a great battle. I hope you enjoyed it. Wonderful battle between two very good opponents. Again, this was a level 10 battle versus a level 11. And the level 10 came out on top. So, I hope you enjoyed it. This is Ryotech signing off. Hey guys, I want to uh, go ahead and throw this out there. Uh, I want to appreciate you for watching my videos, and at the same time, I want to get the word out for uh, Swifty Saloon, my buddy. Uh, he started up his own uh, business, and he's making these wonderful looking figures and uh, wonderful looking blocks for Dungeons and Dragons, I believe. Uh, many different creatures, many different out of ground top areas. You got your dice. Um, all kinds of little odds and ends you need to check him out Swifty Saloon on Facebook and uh, hit him up and tell him that I sent you there he might even throw you a discount Again, thanks for watching, and as always, this is Jonathan with the Riotic Corporation. Until next time.